Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're on the destroyer escort Slater in Albany, New York, and we're going to talk about the time that uh, some food for the galley saved an American warship. Slater's galley is very typical of the equipment you would see on any World War II era destroyer and many other types of vessels as well. One of the key pieces of equipment in here is this right here, the potato peeler. Potatoes are of course a staple of the American diet, but unlike other types of food that are stored in refrigerators or dry storage spaces inside the ship, taking up precious interior volume, potatoes don't need that. Not far from the galley is the spud locker where you store the potatoes. Let me show you that. Today's video, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Magic Spoon, which is supporting the museum. A big upcoming project we have is dry docking the battleship, which means I'm coming into work early before the rest of the staff is here so I can get some work done on this special upcoming project. That means I don't have time for breakfast at home, but Magic Spoon gives me the energy boost I need to get started on my work day. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, maple waffle flavors, or peanut butter like I have here. Plus, there are now other awesome flavors including honey nut, blueberry muffin, birthday cake, and cinnamon roll. Magic Spoon fits a variety of lifestyles. It's high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, and naturally flavored. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It's the same great taste that you remember, but upgraded with grown up ingredients. Nothing artificial. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below or scan the QR code on screen and use the discount code BATTLESHIP to get $5 off your next order or go to magicspoon.com slash battleship. Magic Spoon also ships to Canada and the United Kingdom. So on the port side of the main deck, in a part of the superstructure, which sort of bulges in and out depending on where hoists are and various other pieces of equipment, uh, where they've got room, they install spud lockers. Battleship New Jersey spud lockers seem to be uh, mounted in the superstructure back during World War II, uh, the, the aft end of the superstructure. Nowadays, the battleship doesn't have any anymore she would have probably carried powdered potatoes primarily during her later service. But in World War II, you just carried the whole spud uh, and a little bit of airflow is good for those. So it can be stored exterior. It can be wet and it's gonna air out. Notice that there's ventilation cut in this. You get your sacks of potatoes and you just dump them into the top of the spud locker. And then as you're drawing from this, you use the door on the bottom and pull the spuds out there. On older ships, you would sit out on deck and peel them, and often that is uh, punishment duty. In fact, that shows up a lot in Popeye the Sailor cartoons after he's gone on a spinach-fueled bender. Uh, he's then stuck sitting on deck peeling potatoes at infinum. Of course, on uh, Slater, we saw that she has modern World War II equipment in the form of a potato peeler. So how do these save an American ship during World War II? As the story goes, in the spring of 43, O'Bannon was on anti-submarine patrol in the Solomon Islands. They spotted a Japanese submarine, the smaller row type as opposed to the larger I type, on the surface. Initially, O'Bannon's skipper planned on ramming the submarine before she could dive. And so the American destroyer came in at high speed. At the last minute, he had the thought that maybe the Japanese submarine was laying mines and that's why he was sitting there on the surface and not moving as his ship bore down on it. Oftentimes mines are expelled from either special mine chutes or more often with submarines through the torpedo tubes 
Many submarines have forward and aft torpedo tubes, so as O'Bannon is coming up on this submarine, they were worried that they were running into the minefield and this was a trap. So he ordered O'Bannon to turn off, which caused a, uh, the ship to drift, and now she was sitting too close to use her main guns. The Japanese sailors were not pulling a trick. They were quite surprised that the American warship bore down on them so quickly, and so they were not manning their deck guns. The American deck guns could not bear, for the most part. And so a weird melee ensued in which small arms are being issued and fired back and forth, and sailors are grabbing whatever deck fittings they can and chucking it at the sailors on the other boat. The Japanese ship's guns could engage O'Bannon. O'Bannon could not engage them, and it wouldn't take many hits from the Japanese deck guns to put holes in O'Bannon's hull and cause serious damage. So, the main goal of the Americans was to keep the Japanese away from their guns while O'Bannon managed to get herself away. As the story goes, and this legend hasn't been fully confirmed, the crew of O'Bannon uh, started to grab potatoes from the spud locker and chucking them over the side at the Japanese submarine. Now, whether these projectiles were really impairing the Japanese crew, or as the American sailors are alleged to have believed, the Japanese sailors thought that they had grenades being thrown at them. So they run back into their uh, hatches and go inside. It could even be as simple as they were planning to dive the boat, so they went inside, uh, so they weren't left on the surface. Whatever the case, according to this story, O'Bannon is able to get far enough away without being damaged significantly that she is able to then destroy the Japanese submarine. So what sports do you think are most valuable for military service? I wouldn't have said baseball. However, being able to fastball a potato at a Japanese sailor seems to do the job. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. There's a link in the description below to donate to USS Slater, a magnificently restored World War II destroyer escort in Albany, New York. If you would like to support their ongoing restoration efforts, be sure to click there uh, to send them a little help. Also, be sure to stop by and visit her whenever you're in the neighborhood. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our museum. Thanks for watching.